I dreamed about this house when I was five years old. In April 2003, for the first time, we walked into this house. I walked from this front porch into the front hallway, and I looked around and I knew that this was my house. I believe there are spirits in my home, yes. Ghosts tend to be angry and haven't crossed over. Spirits tend to just want to check up and see how things are going in any space that they consider to be their own. So I believe I have spirits. I opened August 7th of 2004, and in my first full year of operation in 2005, we had about 11,000 people come through my door. In 2008, I had 21,500 people come through my door. People tell me on a regular basis that they are experiencing other people being here. I had a ghostly encounter one night. I was decorating the house for Christmas right here at the mantel and I heard a noise behind me and a wine bottle had flown off from this wine cart right here and it started spinning in the middle of the floor for about 30 seconds and I watched it spinning. The goosebumps were flowing. Crystal has gone down into the cellar and as you go through each room you have to turn on the lights. Well she got to the last room, the lights came on for her. The same thing actually recently happened to another employee, Ashley. A light switch in the second room turned itself on before I even got there and touched it. So I started researching the actual history, listening to what people told me. This is uh, Shubal and Sophia. Margot's story goes on to tell of the legends of the people who lived in the house, the ghost hunters who stayed overnight in the house, the wine she sold with labels reflecting the history and the legends, and above all, the mystery. This place is wonderful, it has a great history, very interesting. The biggest thing I got out of Buffalo Paranormal Investigators was confirmation that the spirits here are comfortable, are willing to try to communicate, and that there's more to learn. There's always more to learn. We're just now scratching the tip of the iceberg and, and there's going to be a lot more to come. If you experience something and it connects to the history of the place, I think that's very fascinating. And so I spend my life pouring wine and telling ghost stories. Now one Thursday, Shubal and Lewis have been hunting. We don't know what the world has, so why couldn't people cross over and go back and forth? Things happen on a plane that maybe we can't see or hear, but they're still there.